California gets some flack, China wants Mexico back, and Texas gets on track. Hey there, it's Demetrius Villa from the High Speed Rail America Club. It's the middle of January and it's time to catch up on some High Speed Rail news. As you may very well know, California just had its official groundbreaking on the California High Speed Rail project. While it's not exactly an official groundbreaking and it's more symbolic than actual breaking ground, it was more than enough to draw in hype and some cash along with some criticism. This week, the board at California HSR awarded a $1.4 billion bid to Dragados Flatiron Schmick, who will begin construction on a 65 mile segment some way south of Fresno. While some of us have some mixed feelings about the California High Speed Rail project, there are some people who are not at all happy about it. And at this time, it's usually High Speed Rail's biggest supporters, the environmentalists. About 2,000 people rallied in Lakeview Terrace to protest the proposal of the tracks cutting through the Langeles National Forest. It's quite a bummer. However, as some of our other viewers had noted, do take note that California's vast and colorful landscape does not make it easy to make a project work and successful on this larger scale. But we'll see how it goes. Now to move south of the border, where China wants to have another chance of bidding for Mexico's high-speed rail aspirations. The Mexican Ministry of Communications and Transport released new terms for an HSR line about 130 miles between Mexico City and Querétaro. How do you pronounce that? Last checked, it's a 3.7 billion US dollar contract that the Chinese CNR group will be willing to work on. They so far worked in Turkey recently and have plans for other places, including Nigeria. This after a big merger being announced between CNR and another Chinese rail company, CSR, to form an oligopoly. The uh, rather abrupt cancellation of the first project with Mexico and China back in November. And allegations of insider trading between the two companies before then in December. Now while trying not to get arrested, let's move back across the border to Texas where recently the team of the Texas Central Railways along with the mayor of Houston went to took a trip over to Japan. Executive board member of Texas Central Robert Eccles, Mayor Anise Parker and company hopped on Japan Central Railways N700. Texas Central Railways is planning a 90 mile route between Dallas and Houston in a system similar to Japan and JR Central hopes to be a big player and investor in the system. This is one of those projects that's transformational. It will change Texas. It will link the economies of Houston and Dallas, uh, jobs, economic opportunity, uh, entertainment, uh, medical care, education. Now, depending on where you look, Texas Central plans to be finished by 2020, or some people say 2021. We're going to go and say that it's going to be 2021. We'll give them a year at that. But still, that's going to be about five years after All Aboard Florida is completed and almost a decade before the California High Speed Rail project is finished. That just about wraps up this episode for the news. Question for you guys down in the comments. Would you like for us, the High Speed Rail America Club, to do an episode on the Texas Central Railways? <laughs> Maybe we can get an interview or something around that in the lines. Check in the comments below and let's see what happens. Also, be sure to check out our first t-shirts for sale on Teespring. High quality printing and ring spun cotton. Just $19.99 and not only you'll support us, but you'll also show your support for all aboard Florida as well. Wear it in class, while you're rail fanning, or on a shopping trip. We'll see you guys next episode.